In the workplace, the risks considered critical are hazards that can cause serious permanent aftereffects or even death to workers. Each type of work or operations generate different critical risks. Therefore, it's important not only to know them, but to target and prioritize each specific intervention for each environment. So, what are these risks, and how can we act to prevent accidents? When we talk about critical risks, it is important to distinguish two concepts, risks and hazards. These two terms, although related, don't have the same definition and don't represent the same ideas. First, let's talk about the word hazard. A hazard is defined as being any potential source of damage, prejudice, or adverse effect towards something or someone. Concretely, a hazard is the action or the consequence of an action endangering the life of a person. For example, let's take a road. In a city, an average number of vehicles circulate on a road. If a person tries to cross the street, there is a real hazard. Can you identify it? If you answered there is a danger of being struck by a car, you are quite right. A collision with a vehicle would result in serious injuries or even death for that person. If you have answered that there is a risk of being struck by a car, your answer is related to the second concept that we'll discuss. The word risk is defined as the probability that a person suffers harm or adverse health effects from an exposure to a hazard. A risk can be critical or low, regardless of the severity of the hazard. Let's go back to the road example. We have identified a hazard, the one of a potentially fatal collision if a person crosses the street. Let's now examine the risk level. Will it be the same if a person crosses a highway or back road? If a person stays inside a house, the risk of collision is inexistent, even if the hazard is potentially fatal. Critical risk management therefore allows us to act on the probabilities that a worker is exposed to a hazard. To prevent accidents, different measures are implemented in companies. These different measures are never 100% efficient, and sometimes oversights and lack of diligence leave holes in these barriers, making it difficult to prevent accidents. When an accident occurs, all implemented measures have failed to prevent it. By examining the chain of events which led to the accident, it is possible to detect the measures that would have prevented the accident if they had been properly followed. This is what we call the reason model, named for its creator, or the Swiss cheese model. 14 risks are covered by critical risks management. Closed spaces. Entanglement or collapse. Unplanned explosive initiation. Falling from height. Collision, vehicle and pedestrian. Slope failure. Collision and rollover. Electrical hazards. Hoisting operations. Exposure to hazardous substances. Drowning. Falling objects. Uncontrolled energy release. Fire and dangerous atmosphere underground. To act on the risks, a five-step approach to critical risk management has been developed. This consists first of planning this management, by defining the tasks to be accomplished and by assigning responsibilities. Then, the risks must be identified by making an inventory for the targeted workplace. Then, the risk level is estimated before proceeding to the implementation of control measures. Finally, a follow-up is made to ensure the implemented measures are appropriate. To learn more about this topic, please consult our e-learning platform and catalog as well as our training and professional services in risk management.